patient. You couldn't tell simply by watching as she walked up to the job site. But Rachel Cabral Guevara had some nervous excitement building. I was hoping, I was hoping I'd get to drive some of the equipment today. Ask and ye shall receive. I would do this every single day <laughs> if I had the opportunity. The state senator from Appleton spent about 30 minutes in the driver's seat of an asphalt paver this week. All I'm thinking is you dump the asphalt in there and then they just flatten it out. I didn't realize that there's so many different roles. It was part of her site tour of the new Highway 15 bypass going around Hortonville in Outagamie County. A project where Michaels is the prime, but Northeast Asphalt is handling some of the paving. It's important to get out of Madison and actually sit down with the people that are doing the work and saying, you know, what are the dynamics we don't see? What are beyond the pencil in the paper? Well, what is actually going on on the front line? All the way down. Cabral Guevara's tour started at the NEA office in Greenville. Managers were able to go over program funding, workforce and safety concerns, and how the transportation budget is spent. But area manager Taylor Tower knew it was key to get the senator on site, too, to fully see, feel, even smell what this industry is all about. Day in the life, right? <laughs> or a few hours in the life of a, a asphalt paver operator. Crews explained how they level asphalt, ensure proper water flow, and even some of the chemistry behind the material, all on a project site that will personally impact the people she represents. See how it affects not only the traveling public here and what the redesign of this is going to do for that, but also how it affects job-wise people in their district. With a little hands-on experience to go with her face-to-face -face time, Cabral Guevara is now excited to drive the new insights and understanding she has in her mind back to Madison. Everybody plays a role, and it's a finely oiled machine to get these roads out. And I'm hoping not to take them for granted in the future. In Hortonville with the WTBA, building a better tomorrow today.